Good morning. So, um, sorry if my audio sounds a bit off. I'm trying to be quiet because I'm the only one up. But, um, there just seems to be a whole bunch of lying going on. And, um, it's by individuals that claim to be walking in service to the Father. And I know not going to be another popular video. Ask me if I care. Look. We're supposed to be living for the Father. Can we be in agreement with that? That we are supposed to be living for the Father, not for man. So can we at least have an agreement on that much? I would hope so. So, let's get back to lying. And it doesn't matter, by the way. The Father doesn't differ differentiate between your little white lies, and the big humdingers. The Father doesn't differentiate between the two. A lie is a lie is a lie. Can we agree on that? Whether it be a little lie, whether it be a big lie, that a lie is a lie, right? It's like a light switch. It's either off or on. It's either a lie or it's truth. There is no in-between. There is no acceptable Reasons And the only place that I can find anywhere associated to Scripture, uh, and, and I say that term, <laughs> or I say the, that phrase, I guess, associated with Scripture very loosely, uh, would be the Talmud. And um, I'm pretty sure that uh, anybody that wants to serve the Father isn't doing so through the Talmud. I, I do know that there are groups of people that think that that's exactly how the Father wants them to serve Him, but I would disagree. So let's get back to the point. Lying, well, look, let's go to Google. Nothing special. I don't have to go to start page. I don't have to go any... No, just Google. And I just put in, simply, what the Bible says about lying. Okay, and let's take a peek. Of course, you know in the Ten Commandments, it says, Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. We all know that one, right? <clears throat> Check out the second one in the list here. Lying is an abomination to the Lord. Proverbs six seventeen. You know, there is not a whole lot of stuff that the Bible calls an abomination. Lying, drunkenness. <sighs> oh my goodness, how many people fail on that one? And by the way, uh, just to clarify things, bear independent, that's drunkenness, not weed smoking. Not, and I'm not saying it's good to abuse anything or anything like that, but there is a specific reason why alcohol is specifically mentioned, okay? They don't call it spirits for nothing. Let me repeat that. They don't call it spirits for nothing. It is what it is. You don't have to like it. You don't have to like it. It's not about that. Proverbs 12.22, lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but they that deal truly are, are, let's see, yeah, but they that deal truly are his delight. Sorry, on my big monitor I have to look up. <laughs> A false witness will not go unpunished, and he who speaks lies shall perish. Now, I know I've made a lot of claims about how the king is coming, how the King's going to take some uh, names and kick some ass. And I do believe that we're starting to see some of that happen. Where do you think that I get that from? Do you think I just make it up? Hmm. All liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Does it say some liars? Does it say... Only ones that tell the big tales? I don't think so. I think it says all liars. So back to bear. Like when you tell people that, you know, they go buy a, a tourniquet off of Amazon that they will die. That's a lie. Could they? 
Yeah, it depends on the quality of tourniquet that they get. Absolutely. There is a, a could factor there. But you you make it sound as if it's an absolute, like it's a certainty. That is a lie. Uh, do not lie to each other since you have taken off your old self with its practices. Well, you're supposed to anyway. Lying is listed as something practiced by the lawless. Huh. Some always talk about the lawless. But it's kind of funny how it only applies to everybody else but them. Uh, Titus 1-2, God never lies. Numbers 23-19, it is impossible for God to lie. It's also impossible for you to lie to God. Ephesians 4-25, therefore putting away lying, let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Hmm, so you can sit there and tell me about how we're supposed to just love one another, Bear, right? We're supposed to just love one another, right? Now, you know, when it comes to you, iron can sharpen iron all day long and often does, right? To hear you speak about others, some others, it's insane. And then you want to turn around when it comes back to you and you're like, oh, we're supposed to love one another. Frickin' hypocrite. So anyway, I just brought up one more page here, and I'll quit. I think my point should be able to be made. Now, this video was actually intended to address Pastor Dow and his ongoing lies about the child abuse that's going on up in Indiana at one of his facilities, right? Once again, Pastor Dow puts a video out yesterday. He wants you to focus on how the news media says that he was found safe at home. But he won't address the recorded phone call in, what's, in which Mr. Muir was recorded saying, I beat his ass like a grown-ass man. He won't address that. He won't address the image with a child with an obviously bruised eye. And, okay, if it was just an image, he could have fell off his bike and somebody could have been trying to take advantage of a, a, a bad situation. Okay, but back to this phone call, right? How do you explain the phone call? Let, let me guess, it was some AI-generated audio that they were just after Mr. Muir, that, that, that what it is? See, keep stacking those lies, brother. Keep stacking those lies, because let's see what happens to those that do so. Genesis 3, 4. You will, certainly, you will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman. Now, I'm not quite 100% sure why that was thrown there, number one. Do not steal. Do not lie. Do not deceive one another. Bear? You might want to pay a little bit of attention to that when you're telling people they're going to die unless they buy a per particular brand of product. <laughs> uh, Psalms 119, 163, I hate and detest falsehood, but I love your law. Proverbs 12, 22, the Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in people who are trustworthy. Hmm. Proverbs 13, 5. The righteous hate what is false, but the wicked make themselves a stench and bring shame on themselves. Hmm. It's, it's really interesting because I can't stand liars. I've said it a million times. I'll keep saying it. My life has been destroyed by liars. Try having your children ripped away from you. Mr. Dow, I know about child services and their bullshit. Like I put in a post, I literally, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. I was accused of forcing my children to listen to Alex Jones. I've got the paperwork to prove it. Okay? They were, they were grasping at any straws that they could because here they do what they do. Here I had a disgruntled ex-wife 
that was trying to make up anything and everything she could, but there was only one problem. There was no evidence. See, Mr. Dow, there was no evidence. There were no pictures. There were no recorded phone calls. There was nothing except the word of a psychopath. That's it. That's all they had. Did I watch Alex Jones? Yeah, I watched Alex Jones. Did I force my children to watch Alex Jones? No. Most of the time they were off playing whenever I was at the, in fact, that's what they did most of the time, was off playing. My computer was set up in the, uh, we had a large kitchen. My computer was set up in the kitchen where I spent the majority of my time. Most of the time the kids weren't even in there. They were in the living room. So, I mean, forcing them to watch Alex Jones? No. No. Kind of silly sounded to begin with, ain't it? But that's all they had because they were grasping at straws. They didn't have recorded phone calls. They didn't have pictures of bruised eyes. They didn't even have a testimony from the children saying I harmed them. Nope. Just their psychopath mother. See, there's a difference. There's a difference. Proverbs 14.5 An honest witness does not deceive, but a false witness pours out lies. Huh. Seems like I mentioned a couple of people like that. Proverbs 17.7 Eloquent lips are unsuited to a godless fool. How much worse lying lips to a ruler. Huh. Hosea 11, 12. Ephraim has surrounded me with lies. Israel with deceit. And Judah is unruly against God, even against the faithful Holy One. Folks really need to pay close attention right now today to Hosea eleven twelve. Right now, today, to Hosea 11.12. Zephaniah 3.13. They will do no wrong. They will tell no lies. A deceitful tongue will not be found in their mouths. They will eat and lie down, and no one will make them afraid. Hmm. They will do no wrong. They will tell no lies. A deceitful tongue will not be found in their mouths. They will eat and lie down, and no one will make them afraid. Does that sound like anybody, I don't know, that might be currently making this video? <laughs> there is a reason why I stand firm. There is a reason why I stand strong. There is a reason. I fixed my ish. I fixed my ish. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying I don't commit sin. I probably commit sins I'm completely unaware of. But I actually try. I don't sham while the word of God bear and try to fit and twist and manipulate it to fit my particular case at my particular moment. And then turn around and flip it some other direction when it has to do with somebody else and on and on and on and on. I literally had one of your uh, followers. <laughs> I, I just, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. You really need to knock that idolatry off on both sides, whether you're idolizing people or whether you're accepting the idolatry. You really need to knock that off because that's just one more thing that the father's going to use. Just one more thing. It's 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 really crazy. John eight forty four. You belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, for there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Sound like it's good to be in that boat? I don't think so. Acts 5, 3, then Peter said, Ananias, how is it that Satan is so filled with your heart that you have lied to the Holy Spirit and have kept for yourself some of the money you received for the land? Ephesians 4, 29, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. 
Now, see, people come down hard on me for calling this stuff out. But iron is supposed to sharpen iron, is it not? And we don't get to pick and choose who it is. You don't get to pick and choose who it is that does the sharpening. Maybe the person that does the sharpening needs to be somebody you don't like. Maybe the person that needs to do the disciplining is somebody that doesn't bow to man's will, that isn't looking to be liked, to be accepted, to be approved. Maybe that's what it takes in order to tell the truth. Amen? Only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs. Well, if y'all are going around lying and you're all leading a bunch of people, I do believe that this qualifies. Does it not? Of course, I'm sure many of people that idolize these individuals will uh, think not. Colossians 3, 9, do not lie to each other since you have taken off your old self with its practices. Timothy 4, 2, such teachings come through hypocritical liars whose consciousness, consciences sorry, have been seared as with a hot iron. James 3, 1, not many of you should become teachers, my fellow believers, because you know that we who teach, um, we who teach will be judged more strictly. Now, didn't I just say that in a recent video? I believe I just said that in a recent video. Let me repeat that. Not many of you should become teachers, my fellow believers, because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. Hmm. But oh, I'm so wrong about that stuff. Revelation 22:15. Outside are the dogs, those who practice magic arts, the sexually immoral, the murderers, the idolaters, the idolaters, the idolaters, and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. <laughs> Amazing stuff. I think we're we're at the end of it. It's hard to see because I've got it like zoomed in. So yeah. And again, sorry, I've got no camera set up. I have no camera set up. I don't even have the table behind me because I got my little redneckinator flight sim seat thing behind me. So, anyway, it's ridiculous, folks. All I am trying to do is try to intercept the harm being done to folks that are sham wowed by these people. That's all. That, that's, that's my intent. And if these individuals want to wake up and start doing the right thing, that's great. That's the fringe benefit. I, but I could care less either way. Somebody's got to step up and interject and, and remind people that lying is wrong. I don't for a second to understand why somebody needs to step up and say it, but clearly, clearly it's been forgotten. Shalom.